Hello, my name is Fadul Saad and this is my YouTube channel. Welcome. Part of this channel is going to be a learn to play the Oud series for beginners. This is the first video of this series. Let's get started. Let me introduce you to the oud parts. As we all know, oud is a wooden instrument. And first we have the back of the oud, the sound box, which is basically a curved wooden ribs that are glued together to form a pear shape. After the sound box, we have the sound board. The soundboard is fixed on the sound box with braces. And on the soundboard we have the bridge, the risha guard and the sound holes. The quality of the out sound is highly affected with the quality of the soundboard. As for the bridge, oud can be made with two types of bridges a fixed bridge and a floating bridge. And as you can see in the picture, the fixed bridge is glued on the soundboard and the strings are tied to it directly. Meanwhile, just like my oud, with the floating bridge, the strings are tied to an additional piece at the end of the sound box called the strings base in addition to a separate adjustable bridge on top of the soundboard. Important to notice, even though the floating bridge is adjustable, but it should be fixed in a specific position, which is located according to the oud dimension and length. After the bridge, we have the risha guard, which is an important piece that protects the soundboard from any mistaken risha strokes and at the same time it adds to the oud aesthetic character. Also on the soundboard we have the sound holes which most of the time they are three a big one and two small ones. As you can see with my oud the sound holes are in a circular shape. Meanwhile, in other Aouds, just like the Aoud of Professor Munir Bashir, you will find that they are in an ovoid shape. And here we have the neck, where the left hand fingers are placed. Some Aouds, just like this one, have a fingerboard that are glued to the neck starts from the top end of the neck and reaches for the big hole. Other oods, just like the one in the picture, don't have a fingerboard. At the top end of the neck, we have a piece called the knot. Knot can be made either from manufactured bone with a white color or simply just from wood. The strings lean onto the knot before being wrapped around the pegs. This is here the peg box with the pegs for tuning purposes. Finally, let us not forget about the strings and the risha. The oud has six strings. The uppermost one is a single string, while the others are doubled. And as you can see, the oud strings are made with different materials. The upper three strings are made with manufactured silk, wrapped with one of the following. 
कॉपर निकल और सिल्वर ऑन द अदर हैंड द लोअर थ्री स्ट्रिंग्स आर मेड विद आइजर नाइलॉन और नाइलॉन रेक्टिफाइड और फ्लोरो कार्बोन दाउद हैज सेवरल ट्यूनिंग्स इन दिस सीरीज आई एम गोइंग टू यूज द फॉलोइंग वन एफ और फा ए और ला डी और रे जी और सोल सी और दो एफ और फा दैट्स इट फॉर टूडे इन द नेक्स्ट लेसन I will teach you how to hold the oud properly. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please give it a like and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I guess we will meet in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye bye.